Rachel and I met at CCA, uh, California College of the Arts in San Francisco. Uh, she was studying industrial design and I was finishing um, a graduate degree that was a hybrid design and strategy program. We started dating shortly after meeting and then actually uh, founded Yield just a year after uh, we met. We kind of were toying around with some design ideas more just for fun, but ended up taking the first idea into a product um, on Kickstarter. So that's what really jump-started the company. Rachel and I often talked about what we wanted to see, the types of products that we wanted to be able to create. And we didn't find that there were a lot of opportunities for us to do that type of work in um, existing companies or in a consulting scenario. So we really had an interest in defining our own vision where we would have the total control from concept to completion. So that was you know, really what inspired us to start Yield was something that would you know, give us like, the ability to, to create what we wanted to see in the world. So we started the company in San Francisco um, about three years ago. And we um, you know, absolutely loved San Francisco and felt like really tied in, uh, to the community there, really grateful for the support that we had there. But I had come from uh, my undergrad studies at Flagler, and Rachel and I kept coming back to St. Augustine, visiting friends, and I've always just felt such a strong tie and love for the community here and the city. We felt drawn to the idea of uh, you know, being able to to be more of a part of, of an emergent um, design scene, something that we felt like was really uh, starting to grow. You know, we had the longing for more space and room to breathe. Um, and, you know, it was a big transition coming from San Francisco to St. Augustine, but not one that we've had any regrets for. It's been a really good move for us. To create a new product, we usually start with sketching, as you might imagine. Um, we do a lot of 3D modeling, so we'll sketch ideas and I'll start basically sketching in 3D and we can put different materials on it so we can experiment and see what it would look like in glass or in ceramic or metal. Um, so we can really start to visualize it pretty quickly. Um, and oftentimes we'll have a 3D model printed, so then we that's the third form is we get to actually see it in real life. Or if it's a bag, we sew it right here. We can usually get through a couple different designs in a day, so we like to go to like physical models pretty quickly to start seeing it and feeling how it's gonna work in real life. In our St. Augustine studio, uh, we produce all of our soft goods, which is all of our bags. Um, our aprons, our leather working is all done here, um, as well as our like photo bars and rings, some of our photo display goods. Um, every product that we produce or every product that we uh, sell at Yield passes through our hands at the studio. We think it's really important um, to be able to have you know an eye on every single piece that we ship out, and we really view like that level of quality control as sort of the last part of our design process. Since we've been in St. Augustine, we found that. There is a wonderful community of makers and artisans uh, in this area, North Florida, and more broadly um, in Florida that haven't been as tapped into um, as, say, a lot of the, the uh, types of manufacturers you might find around New York City or in San Francisco. And we've really enjoyed finding uh, people who are excellent at their craft and really being able to partner with them um, you know, and, and, and push design in a direction that we want to see. But, um, really be able to benefit from the craft that only comes from spending you know, 20 years uh, doing metal spinning in, in a studio. Um, I think since we've been in St. Augustine, you know, we've had a good reception here. And I think a lot of that is due to um, you know, the fact that we're actually producing you know, products right here uh, in you know, our little town. In the future, we plan to continue to grow our team here. Um, we're looking to, you know, grow our manufacturing capabilities in town, um, but we're also looking to expand what we're doing and make it available to people in other cities and other markets um, through brick and mortar retail. Um, you know, we find that a lot of our customers are in New York and San Francisco, and we're excited about taking what we're doing here in San Augustine and making it more directly accessible to people there.